सो वेलकम बैक टू द टेस्ट ऑफ कार्ड चैनल वी आर वंस अगेन बैक विद अ वेरी रॉयल वीडियो व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट द रॉयल ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग व्हिच इज मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मोस्ट रिनाउंड ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मोस्ट वाइडली स्प्रेड ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज द वर्ल्ड इज मूविंग हेयर एंड देयर बिकॉज ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो दिस इज अ इंजीनियरिंग व्हिच हैज अ वेरी वाइड स्कोप देयर आर वाइड रेंज ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन दिस ब्रांच Uh, you can pursue a wide range of jobs in this branch but one important thing it has a great competition too the great opportunities bring the very great competition okay so you have to really work hard for this so in this particular video you will be means at the end of this video you will have no doubt regarding mechanical engineering because i will be telling you each and everything regarding this mechanical engineering and this video is not going to be boring it is going to be very interesting because we are uh, with very interesting facts about mechanical engineering and we will be discussing about the best colleges in india okay uh, for indian candidates as well as for nri candidates how many seats are there what rank you should focus on different engineering exams to get admission okay and uh, what are the job opportunities in this branch what are the subjects you have to study in this branch uh what are the cutoffs for different colleges and we will be dis- also seeing the greatest ever mechanical engineers born in india okay so let us begin the video so first of all let us begin with the scope of mechanical engineering what job profiles are there under this branch so first of all there is automotive engineer means uh the engineers related to vehicles automobiles the world is moving here and there there are lots of great companies uh making some great vehicles okay so you can pursue your uh, automotive you can be a um, auto automotive engineering in those big companies okay then maintenance engineers nuclear engineers you can be uh, going into aircraft and space industry which is a very interesting industry if you are an adventure lover then control and instrumentation engineer you can become and you can also go to the research field as various research are going on under mechanical engineering okay now let us move to the subjects what subjects you can study under mechanical engineering uh, or you are going to study in your mechanical engineering program so there are manufacturing processes electrical and machine control you will be studying production and industrial management then comes fluid mechanics material technology uh dynamics of machinery and applied thermodynamics so these are the major subjects but apart from these these subjects will be studying various other subjects under mechanical engineering but these are the major 10 to 12 subjects you have to focus on okay now let us move to one more very important topic top 10 engineering colleges under mechanical engineering in india okay for nris as well as for indian candidates so in the first position there is undoubtedly iit bombay iit delhi and iit madras these three colleges are the brand for mechanical engineering in india but obviously you have to score a very good rank in j advance to get admission we'll be discussing further that what rank you should target but uh, for this you have to just know that these three are the top three top college for mechanical engineering then in the second position Uh, there is iit kanpur and iit khadakpur the third position uh, college is iit rurki as well as iit guwahati at the fourth position we have iit hyderabad and iit trichy and iit warangal okay then at the fifth position we have iit indore as well as iit bhu at the sixth position we have iit ropal as well as nit roorkela okay at the seventh position we have iit gandhinagar at the 8th position we have bits pilani again a very great college but it is a private college so you have to pay a higher fee to get admission here okay then 9th position are the two pillar colleges of delhi namely dtu as well as nsut so you must have heard these names before because these are very famous colleges of the indian capital city new delhi and at the 10th position we have mnit alhabad and triple it dm jabalpur so these are the 10 uh, top 10 position and about 25 to 30 colleges i have covered here so if you will take admission in any of these 25 to 30 college you will be having a great experience in mechanical engineering because 
some great professors from all over the country are educating or teaching mechanical engineering here okay so these are the best colleges now the next topic is the seats available in mechanical engineering in different colleges in india so you must know how many seats are there because uh, if you will know the number of seats then you will have a target that what rank to focus to get admission in one of these colleges so in iits there are a total of around 14 to 15000 seats but from those 15000 or 14000 2400 seats approx this is not exact data but approx 2400 seats are there for mechanical engineering okay like for example there are 1000 seats in iit bombay out of 1000 176 seats are there in mechanical so this is example of iit taking the example of nits there are around 2800 seats under mechanical engineering in nits for example nit trichy the best nit in the country has 120 seats under mechanical engineering then talking about the triple its there are three basic triple its or three best triple its in the country which are providing a degree for mechanical uh, generally the triple its provide degree for computer science or it but there are three triple its which are generally triple it dm means indian institute of information technology and design and manufacturing so design and manufacturing are the branches for mechanical engineering so first one is triple it dm jabalpur so there are around 63 seats in mechanical and 63 seats in smart manufacturing which is which is again a sub subject of mechanical so smart manufacturing is also like mechanical engineering in triple it dm kanchipuram there are around 80 seats in mechanical and 40 seats in smart manufacturing and in triple it dm kurnool there are 50 seats for mechanical engineering so these are the seats in top colleges in the country so now you will be seeing the placements in mechanical engineering after the uh, placement we will be covering the cutoffs for these top colleges and the cutoffs for the lower colleges means what is the last rank for which you can get mechanical engineering in any of the decent college in the country okay so before moving to the placement section which is again a very interesting section because you must be waiting for the placement that what are the average salary as a mechanical engineering uh, engineer in the country so before moving to that if you are a nri candidate watching this particular video so test prep card has a special nri ebook prepared for you and the link is given in the description so it will be really helpful uh, for you uh, during your je preparation so you can consider downloading the nri ebook from the link given in the description okay so after watching the complete video consider downloading moving to the placement section of mechanical engineering so generally if you are in some decent college in the country so you will be getting around 4 lakh rupees per annum as a mechanical engineer engineer under your average salary means around 30000 rupees per month as your starting salary as a mechanical engineer if you are uh, doing mechanical engineering from a decent college in india but talking about some good colleges some top colleges so if you are pursuing your mechanical from iit bombay then you will be getting somewhere around 8 lakh rupees per annum 8 to 9 lakh rupees per annum as your average salary if you do it from nit trichy which is the top nit then you will be getting around 7 lakh per annum and same is the case for triple it dm jabalpur here also the average salary for mechanical is around 7 lakh per annum and if you do it from the top private college of the country which is bits pilani then you will be getting around 6.5 lakh rupees per annum as your average salary uh, the average salary for them okay now talking about the top companies which are visiting or recruiting mechanical engineers in india these companies are bhel ntpc escorts okay uh, hero honda tata bajaj jaguar so these are some of the best companies or the top companies which are recruiting mechanical engineers every year from these top colleges okay so if you are working for any of these colleges then you will be getting a good salary okay obviously because these are some of the best companies in the to the topic which you are eagerly waiting for the closing rank for different colleges in the country under mechanical engineer okay so first of all let us see for the closing rank of je main now je main is a entrance examination which is conducted every year 
and around 10 lakh candidates sit in JMA and from those 10 lakh top 40 to 50,000 candidates get seat in the top NITs and triple ITs of the country. Now we will be talking about a top, triple, a top NIT, then an average NIT and then a lower NIT. So what rank you require to get admission in these three, okay? So talking about the NIT Trichy, then you have to get an All India rank under 6600 according to previous year data. For NIT Hamirpur, which is an average NIT, you have to get a rank under 26,000, okay? And for a lower NIT like NIT Manipur, you have to get a rank under 43,000 for mechanical engineering. Now talking about triple IIT, like triple IIT Jabalpur, you have to get a rank under 35,000 to get a seat in mechanical engineering. And for DTU, which is a very famous college in Indian capital city, Delhi, then you have to get a rank under 11,300. So these are generally the best colleges through JE main. So talking about a top IIT, then we will be talking about an average IIT, then a lower IIT. Okay, so that you will get a clear idea that what is the expected rank you need to get. Okay, for IIT Bombay, the closing rank was 1100 in J advance, which is a very tough task. Generally, if the exam is of 360 marks, you have to score around 205 or 210 plus marks to get a rank under 1000. For IIT Roper, which is an average IIT, you have to get a rank under 7200. And for IIT Bhilai, which is a lower IIT, you have to get a rank under 11,200. And I have tried to cover all the aspects of mechanical engineering. We have not generally just covered the basic topics. We have covered all the best colleges, all the best companies, all the cutoff related things, all the total seats related things. So we have generally covered the whole mechanical engineering in this 10 minutes video. So if you have any doubt left regarding mechanical engineering, so you can freely comment down in the comment section. The test prep card team will reach you as soon as possible. Okay. Thanks a lot.